when you think about it, um, all companies are built for one thing, maximize profit or minimize loss for, <laughs> for early startups. But, but that's, and so that should be the KPI for everybody. It should be the company's KPI. And, and so, and you can do it. For example, what can marketing do? They can create inbound traffic. They can warm outbounds. And, and so you're going to see, so inbound traffic is quite, is quite, is quite easy to, to find. It's just inbound traffic. Although it's always better to check in your CRM if the sales team didn't contact that person before, because then it's not really an inbound, but we go into technicalities, but yeah, that's one thing. Um, then you have warm outbound versus cold outbound. If you do the difference and you ask a sales team to ask, uh, to ask a prospect, if they know about the company, you, you can categorize the two and you'll see a difference in conversion rate. That difference can be attributed. That's revenue can be, can, that is attributable to, to marketing. So you have the inbound, you have the retention rate, you have the uh, sales, uh, sales cycles by, by mes providing messages around the main concern of, of the people, of, uh, of potential buyers, uh, to what they're trying to solve. You can actually shorten the sales cycles and so you can increase the the daily profit of the sales team that's also something you can attribute to to the marketing and also finally retention rate you you if you build a big brand you have brand loyalty you have a bigger moat around your business you have higher retention rate and that's most complicated to measure but that's also something you can attribute it to marketing so there are so you can really attribute there are those four factors you can attribute a lot of revenue to marketing so um it is possible um it, it just needs a bit of setup a building and data strategy and everything but it is 100 uh, um possible there's a, there's no there's i was going to say there's no excuse it's a bit harsh but um you can do it